big hello to all UK higher education aspirants. I hope that you all are doing well in the current trying and testing times. And I'm sure that you must be having doubts and queries pertaining to UK higher education. So I, Ashish Sharma, from the University of West London, invite you all to be a part of the webinar organized by Biz Education on 10th of June, 2020. We will discuss about UWL scholarship updates, intakes ahead, important COVID updates, and how is it that you can plan your higher education in the UK successfully. Look forward to all of you being there. Till then, take care and stay safe. Thank you. So uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Biz Education Virtual Fair. My name is Orsha and I'm the host for today's uh, fair. So uh, everyone watching us here in Facebook and everyone watching us in Zoom, I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, for, first of all, I'd like to welcome you all and thank you so much for joining us today. Today we'll, we'll have the representative from the University of West of London joining us. So every, any students who are interested to study particularly in London, uh, this is a great platform for you to get information regarding the university. Before we begin, I'll just give a short introduction of who we are. So we are Biz Education. We have been established since 2008 and we have our main branch, uh, main office in Nepal and other branches in Australia, UK, Colombia and Brazil. We have uh, we are registered migration uh, migration and visa counselors for Australia and the UK. So we process all the uh, visa queries, visa application for both these countries. We are a team of British Council certified counselors and also a team run by UK graduates. So therefore, we'll be able to provide you as much information as possible regarding how it is to become to be a student in the UK. We also have a dedicated office located in the UK, which means that whenever when a student lands in uh, the UK, we, you, you, you can find us to provide any kind of um, further guidance or any kind of service like visa extensions or even help you out with other, other queries that you have when you first land in a foreign, foreign country, of course. So as this fair is dedicated to UK universities, so I wanted to let you know that we have over 50 partner universities with us. So there are a lot of universities that you can choose from with different course and different, uh, different scholarship facilities and other things. But today particularly, we'll have University of West of London joining us. Before we begin, I'd like to take this platform to let you know about, uh, about this. Sorry, hello. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. So I, I was saying that I would like to take this platform to let the students know regarding Biz UK Education Scholarship. So what this scholarship is, this scholarship is particularly by Biz UK Education, um, UK Education, and we have uh, separated twenty thousand uh, pounds. For the uh, for for the students who, um, who qualify 
for this scholarship. What that means is if you if you have a certain uh, certain amount of grades uh, that we look into, and then if you pass on, pass the interview with Biz Education, you'll be able to get up to two thousand pounds of scholarship from us. Now, this scholarship is different from the university scholarship. So, if you get a scholarship from the university, say about two thousand pounds, and uh, and you fulfill all our criteria for for this Biz UK Education Scholarship, you'll get additional 2,000 pounds from Biz Education. So combined, you'll get 4,000 pounds scholarship if, if uh, you, you fulfill all the criteria that is. We can provide you further information regarding this uh, after the session or in our uh, other session as well. But be, uh, please make sure to ask us about uh, Biz UK Scholarship as well. So the next, uh, lots of queries. We we received lots of queries regarding what uh, what the students are doing during the COVID situation, or how was the situation for the international students during the ongoing pandemic. So I wanted to take this platform to also let you know that um, during this, Biz Education joins hands so jo uh, joined hands with Nepali Samaj Preston and Uplan Nepali Society, and merging Nep NEPSOX and we provided 5,000 pounds scholarship for Nepali Samaj Preston and 1,500 uh, pounds scholarship for merging NEPSOX. And these, uh, these societies or these communities are an initiative by international students for the international students. So they teamed up and uh, as you can see in the images here that they provided uh, hand, sanit hand sanitizers and masks to almost every, um, uh, as much as much of record we have, as many students as possible, these hand sanitizers and face masks during the time when hand sanitizers was a rare thing to get and it was very necessary. But right now also we have uh, been providing students the service, like if they have if they have uh, any kind of difficulties during this pandemic, if they are going through any kind of mental issues or anything, we are there to counsel them. We are always there to help them. So this is a service that we have been providing to our international students here in the UK. So uh, I'll go further with today's program. So as I mentioned, today's program is dedicated to University of West of London and all the students who are interested to study in the UK, uh, I mean, uh, in London, this uh, this is the right platform for you to clear all your doubts regarding it because we'll be joined by Ashish Sharma, uh, the regional assistant for University of West of London. And I can see that he has already joined us. So hi, hi Ashish, thank you for joining us today. Sorry, Ashish, you're on mute. I'm sorry. Okay. Ashish, thank you for joining yes, us. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me. And uh, it was good to hear such good updates, um, you know, how this has been helping the you know, international students over there in London. Great. So I'll just give a, a quick uh, introduction of uh, University of uh, West of London and then um, I'll pass on uh, to you. So uh, as I was saying, University of West of London, any students who, uh, most of the students who query about London, so this is a great platform for you to understand about University of West of London. As you can see, the university has a lot of um, good ranking and good accolades that it has collected, like Jeff Silver, Stonewall um, Diversity Champion, and also the winner for Business School of the Year for 2019. And also it is ranked in the top 60 universities in the UK by the Guardian University 2020. It offers a variety of courses from foundation courses, bachelors, masters, in, and other different courses as well, which uh, will be further explained by Ashis, I'm sure. And also the fees are very affordable for the uh, international students along with uh, different scholarship availability. One of the key facts that we came to find out is 98% of the uh, graduates in, in this university, they were, about, uh, they were uh, able to secure employment right after within six months of graduation. So that is something that, um, that's, that's very remarkable of them. So I will not further extend this um, um, introduction uh, from myself. So I'll just give a quick 
uh, itinerary of today. So it's a one hour session with uh, firstly presentation by Ashish. And after that, we'll take in your queries, all your questions, uh, and then in the Q&A session. So I would advise all the students to be as specific as possible regarding your questions. Uh, don't just write, uh, do you have scholarship? Just write, do you have scholarship with this criteria or anything like that? Just be specific so that we can give you constructive feedback as well. So having said that, I'd like to welcome Ashish once again. Hi, Ashish. Uh, hi. Hi, Usha. Thank you. Uh, thank you again. Um, as told by you, I'll proceed with a small briefing of the University of West London and uh, I'm sure that the students must be having uh, certain questions about the University of West London or about the COVID scenario or the COVID pandemic, which is going on over there. How is it that the university plans to carry forward its uh, next intakes in September, October? And what? how is it that the students can plan to study at the University of West London and in the UK? So I will share my screen and uh, it is a presentation on which I'll be speaking. Right. I hope that you can view my presentation right now. Yes, Ashish. Okay, so I'll start with uh, a brief about the University of West London. So like Osha mentioned a few facts about the University of West London, uh, starting with, uh, you know, the biggest thing or the biggest a fact which we are proud of at the University of West London, right from the logo you can see, University of West London, also known as the Career University. So what is a Career University? It is not a certain group of universities or category of universities. It is what University of West London has come to be known as. And why? Because the vision of the university, the process, the academic process and everything is focused towards uh, making students employ, you know, in uh, career ready or increasing the students employability. So the first thing, as you can see, 98% of our graduates are in employment. We are very proud the students are doing well. The students are satisfied and uh, uh, we are very proud of the fact. Regarding the rankings, the University of West London has a uh, top 50 ranking according to various university uh, guides. You know, for example, you consider the Guardian University guide, it, it ranks around 52nd uh, in the Guardian, uh, sorry, in the Times Higher Education rankings. In the Guardian University guide, it ranks 56. So the university is on a rise. Why the university Hello. is on a rise? Hello? I'm sorry, Ashish. Um, okay, uh, sure. Just a, just a second, Ashish. Uh, I'm sorry for sorry about that. So all the students, like I said, uh, we will take in all your queries right after this presentation by Ashish. So please uh, now wait for a while. And uh, Nawal, I see that you're raising your hands, but we'll take in your questions right after this presentation. I hope okay, that's okay. Yeah. Sure, um, yes. So all the students, I understand that you must be having queries and then we can take all the queries towards the end of the presentation and will be very happy to answer all your queries. And uh, so I was, I, was I was saying why the university is on the rise because if you see University of West London two years back or three years back, its rankings were around 80, 90 or 100. Uh, but now after two, three years, the university has jumped in all of the rankings. For example, in the Times High Education ranking this year, the university has climbed 31 places, which is the biggest rise a uh, UK university has made. Uh, similarly, last year, there was a rise of 36 places in one year in the Guardian University Guide. Uh, again, it, it has a record in that as well. The university is a top modern university in London for overall satisfaction in National Student Survey 2019. Um, you know, why I feel that National Student Survey is important is because the data collected is from the students who are already studying in the University of West London itself. So the students are happy. That is how the, you know, this is what, this is something which I feel I get a lot. You know, students, new applicants who are all, who have been referred by existing students at the University of West London. If you talk about the teaching excellence framework, it is a silver award 
though all the universities aspire to be as gold, we also aspire that the you know the one, one of the biggest things this year is the Times you know, Higher Education Awards, the Business School of the Year is under the University of West London, the Claude Littner Business School is the business school of the year in the UK. A very important thing about the university is the location. So this is something about our London location. It is 20 minutes away from Heathrow Airport, 30 minutes away from the central London. So it's, it's very centrally located in London. And, uh, but one, one big thing which I feel is more important for students in terms of um, you know industry accessibility is you can see over here in this blue box 50 percent of the world's 300 of companies have headquarters within 15 miles of our campus so, so that is how i we i feel that uh, university students get opportunities for internships for placements for live projects for guest lectures because uh, you know, a very, very important aspect of international education is the kind of exposure which students get. And exposure is incomplete without appropriate industry exposure. So that's how I feel the location has a very important role to play in the success of the students and especially that 98% HESA graduate employability. So the university is again a top 10 in the UK in terms of graduate employability. These are the two campuses of the university, Ealing and Brentford side. For some of the students, they may have heard about another campus in Reading uh, that is there for short, but then I'm uh, not talking about that campus specifically for uh, why, because it is specifically dedicated to nursing courses and uh, most of the nursing courses in the University of West London are not open to international students as of now. So Ealing and Brentford, you know, both have 1.5 miles away from uh, each other. Ealing is an upmarket area uh, in zone three of West London. You can also see Paragon Leds. Paragon Leds is the university student accommodation, which is there in the Brentford site. So, you know, for students who have their classes in Brentford living in the university accommodation, you just have to get down and go to the next building. For Ealing site, students just have to hop on a free shuttle bus with it, which runs every 15 minutes for uh, students and staff between Brentford and Ealing site. You can see the Paragon Leds, which is the student accommodation. Uh, this is the minimum of a study room which students get. And uh, the, the cost for the university accommodation is 160 pounds a week. And uh, for students who wish to stay outside the university accommodation in nearby areas, they can choose to stay in places like South Hall, uh, Hounslow, Acton, these are the places which are nearby the university. Students can even find accommodate, comfortable accommodation for, uh, let's say, around 70, 80 pounds a week as well. These are a few facilities of the University of West London. Uh, you can see over here in this light blue circle, 150 million pounds campus investment has been made. So all new facilities, renovated facilities, the university is again a top 10 in the UK for the facilities spent. So, you know, of, of course, new teaching spaces, libraries and all these things. You can see starting from this picture, all these three floors are of libraries. So, and I understand that new teaching spaces and libraries and gyms and cafes are a basic part of any university. It has to be in any of the university. But I feel some of the facilities which are a little unique to the University of West London are, you know, for example, the university's own radio station by the name of Blast. So it's, you know, of course, very, very relevant for journalism and media students, but then of course, other students can access it as well. There is this West Point Enterprise Hub, which is a startup incubator. So what is a startup incubator? Startup incubator is something where students with entrepreneurial aspirations can enroll themselves uh, it's pretty successful. I think around two years in existence and more than 50 students have already uh, received, uh, are working on their ideas, have received, uh, you know, assistance in terms of finance, technical know-how, uh, free office space and all these things. For hospitality and culinary students, there is the Best London Food Innovation Lab. There are two training restaurants 
inside the university itself they are open to uh, public from outside the university as well they are all run by the students there is a four star savoy suits facility for hospitality students there is a sparringdon center this is a ground penetrating radar technology i think technical people will know it well even i don't exactly know what this is uh, so as i said that uh, earlier i mentioned that the university is quite close to the heathrow airport it is connected to heathrow airport not only in terms of proximity but also the heathrow management and the uwl management are quite close that's how heathrow has sponsored a flight pad simulator inside the university they have sponsored the heathrow archives inside the university as well these are the study options or uh, i will take you to the courses which the university has to offer divided among eight schools so starting from school of computing and engineering courses offered are computer science information systems cyber security uh, applied project management and creative computing civil engineering or various a range of courses at bachelor's and master's level so we were talking about the rankings so as i said the overall ranking of the university is uh, somewhere around 50s but if you ask about computing you know let's say computer science the university ranks a uh, seventh in the uk for its computer science uh, department for civil it uh, civil engineering it ranks 12th across the uk so both you know both are nearby a top 10 ranking in the you know in the all of the uk london school of film media and design courses related to journalism courses related to film making design are all available in this school and uh, london as a city i feel is a great platform for students studying these unconventional courses because these courses rely heavily on the kind of exposure which uh, students get as a part of their learning london college of music i don't know how many of you are interested in music but then again one of the uh, you know one of the best institutes of music across the world musicians like freddie mercury and all have been passed from this university school of law and criminology courses related to law and criminology at the bachelor's and master's level college of nursing midwifery and healthcare so as i said <clears throat> most of the courses under this school are not open to international students but students who come from a pharma or a healthcare background and wish to do relevant studies they can apply to two courses in the university of west london first is a public health and wellbeing course and second is a health informatics course so health informatics technically comes under school of computing and engineering it is related to the technology in the healthcare industry but students who apply will be from uh, you know pharma background or healthcare background school of human and social sciences all psychology studies in psychology courses and other uh, human and social sciences in at bachelor's and master's level there is also the psychology conversion course under this school wherein students from a uh, different and non relevant background can do a one year masters in psychology conversion london gala college of hospitality and tourism uh, it's a 70 year old school quite reputed for hospitality and tourism studies in the uk good quality internships good industry connections uh, between the industry and the university in fact i this year as i i think i mentioned earlier as well there is one student one of the hospitality students who is actually interning inside the buckingham palace itself so this shows the quality of internship or the industry connections which the school has the claude lightner business school last but not the least as i said this has been awarded the best business school in the uk this year courses related to management marketing um, you know all kinds of econ economics accountancy all various courses are available at the bachelor's and master's level uh, with and without internships also the freshers mba is available so most of the students will have a work experience in the mba cohort but then still there are students there are seats for freshers as well fees and scholarships i have made a table over here you can see undergrad program 12500 pounds a year internship fees is 2000 pounds a year so students who come on for a 3 year undergrad course their fees will be 12500 pounds per year 
and if they choose to do an internship which is an extra year in between they'll have to be only 2000 pounds for the internship year post grad fees 13000 pounds per year is what is the masters fees 600 pounds for the internship period in the masters course so 6 to 8 months of internship and 600 pounds as the fee so for a student who comes for a 20 months course for example information systems with internship will have to pay a 13600 pounds for the 20 months only and only exception uh, this uh, to all of this is the mba course which is there it is a, either a one year masters course or a two years uh, masters or two years masters course wherein there is 10 months of internship and uh, the fees is 14250 pounds so june and october intake they are our extended post graduation intake so you know we must have an extended masters so for for students who don't know about extended masters it is a 15 months course so instead of a 12 months course it is a 15 months course or a two years course so 15 months without an internship two years with an internship and the entry requirements for the extended postgrad program in terms of grades and in terms of english language requirements ielts or pt or toefl they are lesser than that of a 12 months uh, direct master's course so uh, you know for students who would be wondering how come the university has a june intake in middle of the covid pandemic so of course we did have a june, june intake plan before the covid was there and we are still running it in a blended form or a best of both program so some updates for the july 20 intake which is there so one good one good news is that the students who are joining the july intake they have been awarded a scholarship of uh, either 1500 pounds or 2000 pounds which has in a way rendered the extended component almost free. So I'll talk about it later, how you know it's almost free. So what is the best of both program? It is a mixture of physical classes, physical learning at the University of West London and three months of online classes. So how it works out. The batch starts on 6th of July, students enroll, they study for three months on the Blackboard online platform and then students can go to the university from uh, they and they and resume remaining of their studies from 14th of october 2020 so so i understand that uh, you know a lot of students may have this query you know why study online so because they may feel that international exposure is a very important part of international studies we agree with that that's why three years uh, sorry three months of online classes and then remaining one year or 20 months 21 months of their program they can do there they will be also eligible for the gir or the two years stay back about ensure, ensuring academic quality this is not just another passive online education program you know where there would be only video recorded lectures it is it is based on face-to-face -face interactions with the university staff, with your faculty. And uh, it is just that the physical classroom has been replaced by an online platform. Rest, everything is the same. There will be face-to-face -face interactions. And University of West London is committed to ensuring the quality. It will not compromise on the academic quality in, under any circumstances. Blackboard online platform, and of course, Blackboard is one of the major, not not in fact one of the, but then the leading uh, online platform in the world, not only University of West London, in fact, 80% of the top 50 uh, institutes, educational institutes in the world, they use Blackboard as their platform. So next comes, you know, regarding the fees, so ex existing fees for 15 months extended program is 14,975. Scholarship offered is 1,500 pounds. Fees post scholarship is 13,475 pounds, which compared to the September intake fees, that is 13,000 pounds, is very decent. And you know, 475 pounds for three months of online education from a UK higher education institute is a very, very normal. 
what are the entry requirements? So entry requirements, uh, there are three things which I would like to state under the entry requirements. You know, first is the grades, second is the English language requirement, and third is an SOP. What are the grades which we require? So uh, what we require is a 65% uh, for an undergrad or postgrad. So let's say students who have who want to apply for an undergrad course. So 65% is what we require in their grade 12 for postgrad students. 65% is what we require in an undergrad program. In terms of IELTS, we require 6.0, no less than 5.5. For undergrad, for postgrad, we require 6.5, no less than uh, 5.5. There is, as I mentioned earlier, there is an extended postgrad program and the IELTS requirement for the extended postgrad program is 6.0 with no less than 5.5 in each element. We also accept ET, TOEFL, Duolingo, IELTS indicator and all these examinations as well. I understand students must be facing difficulties with regards to appearing for IELTS so they can take up uh, Duolingo or an IELTS indicator examination as well. Regarding the documentation, uh, pretty standard, nothing much out of the way. You can be in touch with your counselors at Biz Education. They have been associated with the University of West London for a long, long time, and they will be able to guide you for your documentation, for any of the other things, any of the other assistance which you may require for your application to the University of West London. So, uh, okay, so this is a COVID update. So how uh, is the University of West London and how is UK doing now in, term, in, in between the COVID pandemic? So this is a news, you know, for some, some, some time uh, ago, when I, was, when I was going through the news, I saw that now in London, specifically talking about, let's say London, it had only 24 new cases in a day, which is very, very less. And now it would have reduced even further UK UK as a country has already crossed its peak and it is on speedy recovery. And uh, now the recent update is that UK has also opened its borders to international citizens. So what we feel as universities in collaboration with the UK government is that students will be absolutely fine in continuing their studies from September and October intake. So, and, uh, Yep, so this is pretty much about it. Now I think we can address any of the questions that students have. Thank you so much, Ashish. We do have a few questions here uh, with us, but before I go to the questions, I really wanted to ask about this uh, July intake that you were talking about. So yes. you said that uh, the students will first do three months course online, and yes. then after October, they will be joining the university. Uh, yes yes so what if uh you know not from uk side but from from the other like uh, nepal uh, for mm -hmm. example the, mm -hmm. they, do, they do not allow you know the students to go what will mm -hmm. be the case in such scenario mm -hmm. okay yes very valid question you know what happens let's say if the students are not able to travel to the uk because they're they're uh, native country borders are not open. So in that case, the, the, the students can will only be doing the first three months online and remaining one year or 20 months, one month of the studies, they will have to do physically. So let's say if they are unable to join in the October intake, then they can join in the next January intake. Next January. Yeah. So it's just that, you know, more two months and then they can join, they can come to the UK and uh, they can join the course. Another another question, you know, which uh, is probably, you know, what happens, let's say, if the visa is refused or something, uh, you know, students, they do their three months of studies and if the visa is refused, so what will happen then? So in that case, see, normally, uh, if I talk about the University of West London, uh, there hasn't been a single visa rejection that we have seen in the past uh, three or four intakes, not a single one. Overall, UK visa reject, you know, visa success rate is also high. Uh, but then 
you know, still that 1% chance, let's say if the visa is refused, then the students can apply for a refund. They can have the refund, uh, only that the university will deduct uh, the three months uh, online classes charges, that is 2,000 pounds, and the remaining the students can claim a refund, which is a 1% chance. We at the University of West London, we, you know, even before uh, producing an offer, we do a thorough check on the students' profile. The students are prepared well for their interviews, for, for their visa interviews and all. So we don't see any chance of uh, visa rejections ahead as well. Okay, so uh, I will go to the questions by the students now. So, uh, sure. So you did mention about extended masters and masters, and uh, is it is it only the time that is different, or even the courses that are different in both these uh, masters and extended masters? Okay, so the normal masters is a twelve months masters, and extended masters is a fifteen months masters. What is different is that the students have to study for three three months extra. They have to do two two extended modules apart from the one year study. So after doing the two, two extended modules, the students are scheduled to join the one year regular course ahead. So it is not something that they're gonna miss out from the actual masters. It's only that they will study something extra as a part of extended masters. Uh, I have a question from Facebook. It's by Samiksha Bandari, and she uh, she has mentioned that her sister is a registered nurse in Nepal, and she has okay. passed, passed her nursing in 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has two years of working experience, and she wants to know about pre or post registration course and fee structure as well. Okay, so uh, regarding this, I need to check for, you know, because as I said, most of the courses in the University of West London or the, uh, under the School of Nursing are not open to international students. So the only courses which the, you know, students can apply to is either one uh, public health and well-being course, the other one is a health informatics course. Apart from it, any other courses, it is very difficult to apply for students under the school of nursing and uh, you know healthcare okay uh, so nawal uh, had a question from the very beginning but uh, okay so i'll just take his question so he wants to yes, yes. ask about medical laboratory course and is there any course of bachelor in medical laboratory in uwl okay no i i see that this question is from nawal and he wanted to ask this uh, before as well. So unfortunately, novel this uh, uh, course is not available with us, with the University of West London. We, do, we don't have uh, this particular course, but then of course you can be in touch with uh, the counselors. They'll be able to assist with another university which offers this course. Is there anything alternative or anything close to that course? Closest are the two courses, which I said, you know, either a health informatics course or a public health and uh, well-being course but if you're looking for a bachelor degree then a public health and well-being course is the only option which we have because health informatics is a master's course okay i'll pass on this information to know all of us and uh the next question is by raju magar raju magar says that he wants to study music as uh, he has completed uh, year 12 in 2018 in humanities securing CGPA 2.94, what would you suggest uh, him to study music management or music performance? What are the additional requirement requi required except uh, academic documents? Okay, yes. Uh, so there is one thing specifically for the music students uh, that, you know, first of all, you need to have a background in music. And what is the background? It's not that you need to have any specific subjects in your school but for music students there are grade level examinations which are conducted and students have to have a certain level of grade level examinations they need to clear a certain level of grade level examinations to get entry into a bachelor degree or a master degree uh, for music studies so i can definitely share the entry requirements of music courses and uh, you know with the with your counselors you can be in touch with them 
Why? Because your counselors will also have to assist you, will have to speak personally regarding the choice of the course. Because you said that, you know, you were thinking about either music management or there was another technical music course. So it all depends on your inclination. Music management is a management course in the music industry. So you must be hearing a lot of music records and uh, all these songs and all. But how music management uh, deals is it deals with the marketing aspect of um, you know music con musical content. So that is a management course, whereas any other music courses will be technical and creative in nature. So what are your inclinations towards, you know, what kind of career is it that you want to build? So it all depends on that and you can definitely be in touch with your counselors. They'll be able to identify your inclinations and will be able to suggest a, a course which is suitable to you. While we are in uh, the topic of music, I wanted to ask if we have, if the university has anything, you know, like a statue of Freddie or any anything dedicated to Freddie Mercury in the premises, anything like that. <laughs> uh, yes, so of course, so, uh, you know, there are many things which are, uh, so Freddie Mercury is one of the musicians, one of the renowned music musicians from the university, there are others as well. And of course, when you go to the uh, premises of the, uh, music school, then definitely the memories of these alumni who are, you know, quite renowned, you know, they are there. And uh, one good thing which I come, you know, when I when I go to the University of West London, which I get to hear about uh, music school and music students is the kind of jamming sessions which they do frequently, you know, because musicians, uh, they are quite passionate about what they do they will start their jamming sessions and uh, students actually enjoy it. Uh, so it's, it's, a lovely feel, it's a lovely thing which I feel that, uh, you know, even if let's say there are other students who are going to study, let's say bachelors in uh, computer science or uh, business or anything, but then they get to interact with students and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good opportunity to interact with uh, people from different backgrounds. That's what, it, that, that's what I feel. That would be very interesting also. <laughs> Maybe someday we would come to visit uh, and you so know, even <laughs> just you know just for just for information for students and um, you know uh, the team at Viz, uh, you know all the music students in the University of West London accommodation, the university accommodation, they are kept in a specific premise or you know they have a specific dedicated uh, areas, they are grouped, their rooms are grouped. Uh, to uh, together, you know why? Because they will be keep, they will keep on singing or keep on jamming uh, together at their rooms. Uh, whereas, let's say a student who goes to study for computer science, so he will require peace and silence to do his studies. So that is taken care of. Uh, you know, just a fun fact which I which yeah. I saw when I went, uh, you know, visit the University of West London University accommodation. Exactly. That's that's very thoughtful of the university, I must say. Uh, so uh, I'll go into the next question is by Rag, Ragini Shrestha, and uh, this is in Facebook as well. So she studied mathematics in plus two, and she wants to know if she can be eligible for public health or a psychology course. Yes. So you can you can enroll yourself uh, for any of the courses uh, in the bachelor degree. Uh, the next question is by Sunil Thapa, and uh, he mentions that he has completed his bachelor's degree in fashion designing in 2019 with 78%. So he wants to know if we have any fashion designing course and what are the requirements of this course? And also, uh, does he have to submit any portfolio for that? Okay, just so we do have under the school of, under the London School of Film, Media and Design, we do have courses related to fashion design, uh, fashion marketing. If I can just have 10 seconds, I am checking the list of courses and I'll definitely come up with the courses which you look, which may be suitable for you. So actually, uh, we don't have a fashion design course at the master's level. 
but the the closest sports which uh, i can see is you know either a uh, luxury design innovation and brand management or a uh, creative fashion startup so both of them are not technical courses in fashion design we do have fashion design at the bachelor's level but then they are related to management and uh, you know startup side of the fashion industry so a creative fashion startup course and the second is a luxury design innovation and brand management so these are the two courses which are available with us so will they have to uh, pro- provide any kind of portfolio for that as well as it's more of management managerial side so will you have to do that see even if yep so i need to check up, but even if the portfolio requirement is there it will not be very specific because these are not technical fashion design courses and if the student has already done a bachelor degree in fashion so then he must he will definitely have a portfolio and his portfolio will definitely suffice for these courses what we require is a strong sop and justification in terms of you know why is it that the students uh, wish to study these courses because these courses are creative in nature and uh, they are con- unconventional not any other student will go for it only an only student who have great passion for these courses will uh, go for it so we require a strong sop in terms of uh, you know justification as in how is it that the student um, feels that this course will be helpful in uh, making their career right okay and uh, you mentioned about 65% for a uh, ug course but what if a student has low percentage can you apply for a uh, bachelor's so yes so the students can apply for a bachelor's uh, but they have to go through a one year of foundation studies before that similarly for masters if a student has lesser score uh, in their bachelor degree uh, which they do not need so then they'll have to go for the extended masters instead of the 12 months direct masters extended masters also a good option we have received a huge number of applications for uh, our extended masters intake in june which is now july okay. and uh, and uh, this foundation uh, course will be like a joint cash with the uh, yes yes yeah uh Ash- ashok here wants to know about aviation aviation management and with commercial pilot license course what kind what kind of course is that he wants to know about that okay ashok yes i get it it's just that the aviation management with commercial pilot so commercial pilot license is the pilot course you know it's you students they they become a pilot after completion of their course but these courses are not open to international students you know for for students in the uk for international students in the uk they can work only towards the land side of the airport you know for example you can work in the heathrow airport but then you can't work as a pilot because that requires for you to go inside the plane and flying those planes you can work as a management professional in the aviation industry so you can do Uh, an aviation management course that students that international students can do provided they have a relevant background uh, uh, of aviation so a lot of students they work at the heathrow airport a lot of uwl students they work at the heathrow airport or do an internship at the heathrow airport but all the international students they work only towards the land you know land side or in the management roles okay okay uh ujwal ujwal has sent me a message regarding uh, academic reference he says that he has completed his bachelor's from uh from a university uh, which has a branch of which has a branch in london but the university has closed down so he cannot submit the academic references so what can he do regarding this situation we can work that out we we'll need to check it with the concerned person what is an alternative but i'm sure that will be some alternative to it not a problem we can definitely work that out and uh, you know if i can just have an email i'll definitely get back to uh, you on the you know get back to the counselors on this particular students case definitely something can be worked out 
I, I'm guessing it's only academic reference that he does not have. So, I, uh, if if Ujjwal, you, you can send me the uh, your documents, and then we can further communicate with Ashish, and we'll let you know about that. Uh, yeah. Moving forward, Bijendra wants to know if he can apply directly for BSc Computing, as he has done three years of diploma in computer science, affiliated to CTEVT after completing his year 10. Okay, so uh, yes, yeah, so as long as the diploma is complete, then the students can apply for the uh, bachelor degree in computer science. So they can, they can apply as long as the diploma is complete and uh, it's a complete qualification, they can definitely apply for the BSc computing course. Okay. Uh, Subhasha wants to uh, mentions that he has heard his friends talking about London to be a vibrant place, but at the same time, there is a cutthroat competition for opportunities, including accommodation and job opportunity. So can you give some advice on how we can prepare ourselves in, adv in advance to make our way through? That's a very good question, quite insightful. And I understand that international students, when they go to the universities to study, it is a little bit uh, difficult for them to get hold of opportunities and to crack the interviews. So, you know, there are a few suggestions. First of which I feel is that, you know, most of the students, the mistake that they do is wait to till the end of their course in order to start preparing or start looking for opportunities. But they should uh, do that, you know, in between their course and they should devote a uh, longer time to it. Uh, second thing, they, they need to be in touch uh, with the careers team at the University of West London. The University of West London's career team is an award-winning career careers team. They have received an award this year for their support to the University of West London students. The University of the careers team will guide students in terms of preparation for interviews. Uh, you know, how is it that they can um, develop their resume according to uh, UK standards and various other things, whatever they may require. There is a specific technique uh, of interviews, which the University of West London careers team specializes in. Uh, so, you know, that's also, there are a there are few things which you can do. And uh, I think definitely you can, uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult, but uh, students still do that and uh, I don't think that if you put a little more effort, the you know you'll be rewarded. And of course, the rewards are uh, very good. If you uh, get a job in London, you can also you also have now the two years stay back or the GIR as a part of your study as well. So uh, to sum it up, to sum it up, you can go to the university. You can be regularly in contact with the careers team. They will be able to guide you for anything related to your uh, employability. Definitely. So the, the, you, the student will have to come in contact with them, just uh, uh, be as open with them and just try to uh, build your own, uh, you know, go through that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, be regularly in contact with them and not wait for the course to get over and then come in contact. Because that time, you know, even if you, for example, you know, if students, they are to find a job, even in their home country, it, I mean, getting a job is another thing, you know, getting just a job is another thing, but even if you want to find a good job in your home country, you still need to give it some time, right? So that's what I say, you know, that if you are there in, in the UK, you need to give a little more time because you in another country, you're facing another culture and it's a learning process in itself. It's a it's a big learning process. You learn a lot from this, uh, you know, process. Exactly. Uh, Sulav here wants to know regarding the online uh, online class starting from July six. How can he uh, participate, or how can he enroll for it, and what are the procedure? I, I'm guessing it is sim similar process of uh, application. Am I correct? Yes. First things first. The students need to hold an offer. Uh, for the July intake, or if you have an offer for any other intake from the University of West London, 
we can convert that offer depending on your uh, you know individual individual credentials and uh, second question which i see if i'm correct how will we participate meaning to say that he may be asking about how will the course be conducted so the course will be conducted on the online blackboard platform and uh, like we are having a webinar right now so what we are doing is a face to face interaction so you know most of your studies will happen on a face to face interaction basis there will be uh, you know it is even better that uh, in in various ways for example the lectures which you attend will be video recorded you can access it at your own time and at your own pace and comfort which is you know may, which may not be available on a physical classroom uh, platform so th these are a few things and face to face interactions i believe and we believe at the university of west london is a very critical component of learning and that will definitely be there there will be a specific team and a project manager for students who are you know assessing who have enrolled for the july intake so that will all be taken care of uh, and of course for anything else you can definitely be in touch with them and we are definitely uh, will be there for any kind of support also for this uh, july uh, july classes the student will have to uh, secure like uh, the cash and all all that or is it only the offer letter and then he can start with this course of july 6 okay so according to the uk vi guidelines the students they don't need to hold a visa to do their studies on an online platform from any of the uk higher education institute when will the students be required to apply for a visa when they go for their studies in london from 14th of october before that they will need to apply for a visa the university will issue a cash um, you know and all these things towards let's say end of august or september will be the time when the university will issue the cash to the students and the students will be uh, required to apply for visa and can travel to the uk for their remaining studies okay so another question i'm just going through the questions uh if i've missed anything Okay, so uh, Yashmin uh, wants to know wants to know regarding culinary art management. So she has completed her year twelve in two thousand seventeen in hotel management with three point zero score, and she has done her in uh, internship in Sangri La Hotel, which is a renowned hotel in Nepal, and uh, she has also secured IELTS of six and five point five. can i now apply for a course of culinary art management okay yes so uh, you know two things you can definitely apply for the course the the closest course for a culinary arts management is the food business management course which we have it's the same thing it's just that the names may differ the curriculum i'm sure will be the same you can apply uh, for that course with an extended option because as you said you know you can do two things you can either retake an ielts and uh, score 6.5 and then apply for one year masters or you can apply for the extended 15 months masters and uh, if you you can go for an internship option as well if you want so uh, extended masters must uh, will be for 15 months extended masters with internship will be for two years so you can definitely go ahead with that okay the next question is by tina and she wants to know besides studies i am keen to engage myself in extracurricular activities and event uh, sorry event in my first academic year so can you please elaborate regarding uwl student union in terms of student representation and facilities the students union of the university of west london is very very strong in 2018 and if i'm correct in 2018 the students union at the university of west london was voted as the strongest students union in the uk and uh, they have a very very uh, major role to play in students well being and uh, so even there are you know there are quite a few things which the students union run in the university of west london itself you know for example there are 
cafes there there is a separate students union desk so for students it's good that the student is uh, so inclined towards extracurriculars they can definitely get in touch with the students union they will definitely uh, you know help you with a range of uh, extracurriculars which uh, students are involved in and uh, it's a uh, the of course definitely the students union is a very strong students union at the university of west london so uh, do they have to uh, to get involved in this do they have to have any kind of criteria that has to be met or it solely depends on the students you know interest and how enthusiastically they join these groups and all that yes because there are various activities which take place like on a regular basis so the students inclination also matters you know what is it that the students inclinations are to get enrolled as a part of students union actively they need to approach the students union and they need to enroll themselves uh, you know to be actively involved in the student activities and any of the extracurricular activities exactly uh, i'll take two more questions now um, so one question is re regarding um, the english exemption for indian students with indian qualification are the uh, english exemptions similar to that you mentioned uh, a bit earlier is it the same? okay so for english english exemptions for for indian students uh, there are few boards which uh, we are able to exempt english on you know for example of course the national boards cbse icse the international boards we are able to exempt apart from those there are six state boards in india where we are able to exempt students uh, on ielts so one is the maharashtra board the telangana board karnatak board tamil nadu uh, andhra pradesh kerala you know these are the boards where we can exempt i'll also you know thank god this question came up so i'll also mention the marks which we require so we require a 70 for undergrad exemptions uh, that is 6.0 we require a 75 for post grad ielts exemption that is 6.5 okay. for extended masters only and only cbsc icse and international boards are eligible for exemptions no we, we are unable to exempt any of the state boards for extended masters uh ujwal ujwal yo wants to know about okay i'll just read out his question so he completed his ba in international tourism management uh, so for my masters degree uh i was looking for food business management or luxury hospitality management so if you would suggest me a bit regarding these subject is it similar to the course that you were mentioning uh to the previous student uh, exactly exactly so you do have a similar background because you have been you have done all your studies in tourism and uh, you know related to hospitality so you can definitely choose among one of the, among the two courses one is a hospitality course uh, hospitality relates to overall hospitality uh, industry whereas food business management refers on specifically to uh, you know the food businesses and how does management work uh, in the food businesses and a lot of students which i see from food business management courses they go on to start up on their own as well so Okay. You know, it's a slight difference, but um, it's just that one course focuses specifically on the food business industry. The other courses uh, covers entire of the hospitality industry. Okay. Uh, so Dendi wants to know about a scholar. How much scholarship is available for international students? Okay. Yes. Another one important point. so there are international scholarships available there is one international ambassador scholarship which is available to all the international students and it is up to 5000 pounds uh, you know it's a one time scholarship up to 5000 pounds students can apply for this scholarship once they hold an offer from the university so first they need to apply hold an offer then they can apply for uh, the scholarship what are the criteria for getting a scholarship the students need to justify themselves well to attain the scholarship 
you know, one good news is that there may be some students um, who may not have a good grade and, you know, so these students, they kind of lose hope for scholarships. But for the University of West London, the scholarships are not based on grades alone. So, you know, not, in fact, it is based on the grades only to the extent that they hold an offer from the university and rest they need to justify themselves by filling up uh, the scholarship application form which contains questions like tell us three things which make you a worthwhile candidate to receive the scholarship so to be answered in around 200 300 words and this is how the students can apply for the scholarship the other thing is the students can definitely apply for the not apply i mean it's an early settlement discount if the students plan to pay their full fees then the students are percent discount as well uh, students i'd advise you to mute your mic where, uh, so that we do not have any kind of disturbance while these question answer session uh, so Dendi, you asked the question regarding extended master's master's. We have covered that uh, in the beginning. So the only difference would be uh, the module will be one extra module and also the fee structures are a bit different. Uh, am I correct, Ashish? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, so the only difference between the 12 months master's and extended master's are the two extra extended modules which the students have to study. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is something extra and they will have to go through the regular masters as well. Okay, so uh, this will be um, <laughs> the last question for today. So Angela here, uh, she says that she was going through uh, the website of UWL. She found about fashion and textiles, fashion branding and management. Uh, which course would you suggest me to study as I've completed my year 12 in 2019 studying humanities securing 2.95? Okay, so uh, we don't, as far as uh, the subjects of grade 12 are considered, we don't need a specific subject for students to do fashion courses. It is just that there are, uh, you know, other requirements, for example, let's say a portfolio may be required uh, from students who wish to study a fashion bachelor. So the student can definitely enroll into one of the courses. Uh, you know, I am not very sure of what are the options the student is considering in terms of fashion courses, because there are different fashion courses. Like one, if I'm correct, the one of the fashion courses which the student looks forward is a fashion and textiles. So that will be, a, you know, that's a very technical and a creative fashion course. Uh, which is there. There are other fashion courses as well. So students can choose to study any of them by looking at the modules and by understanding what exactly the course covers. Uh, what we require is definitely a portfolio uh, for students who wish to join any of the fashion courses. Okay. Uh, having said that, uh, Govind, uh, Govindji from UCLan says hi to the team and hi to you as well. Uh, so hello, Govindji. <laughs> he's hi, he's Govindji. watching us from okay, he's here. No, he's not here, but he's watching us from Facebook. So he just says uh, to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now before before we end this session, I would like to request the director of Biz Education, uh, Hari Sir, to. Um, have some few closing remarks maybe before Ashish leaves us for today. Thank you, Usha. I think you and Ashish, like you both like explain everything. I think there is nothing need to explain about the university and all the question answers. So uh, yes, we try to. <laughs> see, we always see, I always love to like see Ashish and Karan by in a board, you know, they always uh, insist they're like strange to get like right advice from like you know them so there is no confusion later on gonna say okay i haven't got the chance to talk to university rep or something like that this that's why like, i create this platform for a student to speak with university rep directly so i hope like lots of students they like you know manage to talk directly to university rep and i think uh, university rep like us is able to like explain all their queries I think we can justify all their queries and everything. So from now, see, uh, as everyone, every Nepalese and Indian knows about University of West London, we don't need any recognition or any kind of explanation. I think we don't need to explain anything. 
because we have a long history of like you know it's been coming from south asia to west london so it's a beautiful university it's heart of the london and see you can uh, you can say name is enough like it's west london so uh, the graduate employment rate rate is also high 98% and see lots of the students ask me like uh, i want to go central london central london central london and there is no other university than west london okay so <laughs> it's in a central london i can so, understand yeah oh. and like uh, see the entry requirement as per nepalis and indian market is exact uh, like meeting the requirement as well uh, why because like if you have a less uh, percentage in your undergraduate degree they have a course called extended uh, masters okay that course is specially designed for students who have a less mark because sometimes like you not achieve like the marks you think you can achieve in your life you know sometimes you are sick or your family background so you have a less mark but some university they stop you to go for further education because you are not qualified for the direct masters degree so that's why the university west london they have called the course called extended masters so any student have a less marks on the ug and you must you must have a correct level of ilts okay so if you have a less marks in your or ug but you have a like um, you know you fulfill your requirement in english we have a course called extended masters you can join that one and like they are generous as well their fee is not that high among the other uh, competitor in london okay so being a london university their fee is reasonable as well and say and you can choose various of course no they are not limit on like few courses you know the university have a various course you can choose anywhere anything and see i like to thank ashish and usha because i don't want to take your time as well i think you have another session very soon so thank you very much guys and i insist nepal student please apply asap as i always say because uh, the place not going to reserve for anyone the the first come first serve is there so if you miss like the application on a one day you might going to miss the session the, sorry intake so please make a application now and we'll process and, and then let's hope i'm going to say welcome you on the uk <laughs> thank you thank you harisa uh, we have we have a good understanding uh, from the university of west london side with this education this education has been uh, sending students uh, to our london campus for a while and for any of the students if they require or uh, for any of the questions they have they can always get in touch with the counselors and we'd be glad to assist them thank you so much ashish for today and we look forward for such sessions again because it 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 comes out to be very fruitful for students as well because right after this we get to uh, we get additional queries and uh, i i hope that in ad, in the future when we conduct our session uh, you will be happy to join us once again sure definitely sure thank you so much ashish thank you thank you so much take stay care home, stay safe bye yes yes thank you thank you really So moving forward, we will go ahead with our uh, next session that will be in Nepali, as uh, I mentioned earlier. So without wasting any further time, I see that a few students did have some questions, but as uh, Ashish had to leave, uh, we could not take that question. Uh, so we'll be taking that now. So first of all, uh, I will start from Nawal, Nawal Chaudhary. So Nawal ji, uh, you can unmute your mic now and have a direct conversation with uh, this team here. कम्प्लीट uh, बैचलर कोर्स डिपार्टमेंट रिगार्डिंग अब वहाँ बैचलर्स तो कर पाँच है लैब कर जो बायोटेक पढ़ना मिले बायोमेडिकल साइंस पढ़ना मिले हेल्थ केयर भी पढ़ना मिले नवलजी है तर वहाँ पढ़ना मिले तर बैचलर्स डिग्री में आने विद्यार्थी डिपेन्डेन्स लिया पाऊँ सॉरी सर सुन का पाई ना सर साउंड आई ना मज़ा ले ओ सब ने मेरे साउंड सुन रखना बैसा हाँ तो एक चीज़ फेरी पॉइंट है ना हेलो हेलो नॉबल जी हज़र सर 
हजर तब को वाइफ ने यूजी चाहे पढ़ना पाँच है अंडर ग्रेजुएट डिग्री जस्त कोर्सेस हेल्थ केयर में पढ़ना पाँच वहाँ के बायोटेक्नोलॉजी पढ़ना पाँच बायोमेडिकल साइंस पढ़ना पाँच यूके में लाइक बैचलर इन मेडिकल लैबोरेटरी कोर्स कि बायोमेडिकल साइंस बायोमेडिकल साइंस पढ़ना पाँच तर एस में डिपेन्ड लिया अलग अप्ठारो अंडर ग्रेजुएट विद्यार्थी डिपेन्डेन्स लिया पाँच अब वहाँ सींगल आने वो देर इज नो प्रब्लम है डिपेन्डेन्ट आई प्रब्लम छाई सर यो कर सर तब को पर्सनल नवल जी तीन टीम ने कंटैक्ट नंबर पठाई दून हम मेरे कंट्री मैनेजर ने केदार सर हो केदार सर ने ब्रिफ एक्सप्लेन कर दून इफ यू नीड एनी मोर इन्फर्मेशन मैं कंटैक्ट कर टीम ने तब कंटैक्ट नंबर दून स्कलरशिपेडेमिक नवल एसओपी नमस्ते सब एक्सटेडेड मस्टर्स को मैरिड देखा पी स्पाउस लान मिलला कि नमिल्ला मिलने भाई के कति कस्तो लग्ला भने अब ले सुरुमा मा लेखा र पछि लाने हैन सुरुमै लान पनि पाइन्छ हजुर हजुर है तपाईको त्यसको लागि चाहिँ कुनै पनि मास्टर डिग्री को स्टुडेन्ट ले चाहिँ डिपेंडेंट सुरुमै लान पाउँछ हैन त्यसमा चाहिँ अहिले देखाउने नदेखाउने हुँदैन ओके आई थिंक नेपाल को लाइक चाहिँ केदार सर ले चाहिँ आई थिंक ही विल एक्सप्लेन यू मोर अबाउट दिस वन है केदार सर ल मास्टर डिग्री को स्टुडेन्ट ले चाहिँ डिपेंडेंट किन ल्याउने र कसरी ल्याउने भन्ने कुरा एक्सप्लेन गर्दिनु त Oh, it's an opportunity, you know. Your spouse will be there in the UK with you for your whole duration, you know. Who can learn? You know, that's. Or, how can you learn? You have to take any additional training, you know. You have to marriage registration certificate. You have to take a two-way family relationship certificate. You have to take additional. You have to take the cost of maintenance fund, the dependent company living cost. You have to take that out. सो अब एडिशनल डॉक रिक्वायरमेंट बने को त्यो हो कीना लाने ताव बंदा ता इट्स एन अपॉर्चुनिटी है ना यूके में तमाय को डिपेंडेंटली गवर्नर तमाय पर्सनल फुल टाइम जॉब गवर्नर तमाय लाइ सपोर्ट गवर्नर फिजिकली 
मेन्टली फाइनेंसियली सपोर्ट करने लोनली होना नपाने तब स्टडी में फोकस होना पाने धेरे कुछ कने में तो सो लाने तरीका एकदम सीम्पल यू नीड टू हेव सर्टन एडिशनल डक्युमेंट्स अडिशनल फंड्स हजर हजर यो मैरिज रेज ये सर्टिफिकेट को केस में कति पुरानो अथवा कति अगाड़ी को बना पर्ने हो बनी हजर हजर मेरे कोईसन ये मत हो धन्यवाद सबजा लाइक अब तब फर्दर प्रोसेस कर हम टीम बीच तीन कंटैक्ट कर हेल्प कर थैंक यू सुलभ जी अर्क उज्ज्वल जी सब क्वेश्चन एटा थी सैप्टेम्बर सेशन बारे उज्ज्वल भाई लाइन में उज्ज्वल जी पसल मेकानिजम बंद जो विद्यार्थी पढ़ना जानकारी जो विद्यार्थी पढ़ना जाए घरम फैसिलिटी दिने भाई चल रहा है अब अल एमबीए क्लास में अस्सी जाना अब अस्सी जाना पैला पढ़ा जो पढ़ा सकते हैं अस्सी जाना ठाव जहाँ बीस जान मैं पढ़ा मिले कि अब बाकी साठी जाना के करने भाई उन्हीं अप्सन्स दीद यूनिवर्सिटी को स्पोर्ट्स सेंटर इन क्लास बंद रहे अभी धेरे यूनिवर्सिटी में हाई ब्लेंडेड लर्निंग उज्जवल तो पैल यूके पढ़े गए सो यूके पढ़े गई मानी ठाकुर जो पैसे अनलाइन पढ़ाने डिग्री ओके सीम अनलाइन मोडल को डिग्री तर आधी अनलाइन आधी क्लास पढ़ाने भाई कुछ भैर कतिपय यूनिवर्सिटी को अब अलग डिसाइड हमें मैं इंड अफ जूनम ठा होने हमें जब बिगिनिंग कर फेयर मैं के बना थी इंड अफ जून में हमें ठा हो कि अब के होने के सो हमी ते वे में जो तर यूनिवर्सिटी एप्लीकेशन ली रह एप्लीकेशन करना चाहिए ढिला लिमिटेड नंबर मत विद्यार्थी अलाउ कर यूके आई ड्यू टू लाइक क्लास विद्यार्थी विद्यार्थी डिग्रीडील विषय में के सहायता हम इंडिया में तस्त सोयल माइक्रो बायोलॉजी पीएचडी करने तो सोयल माइक्रो बायोलॉजी नहीं यूके कत राम कलेज पाइला प्रोसिजर हजार हजार हज़ार अब या तो यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं हो तब को है अब कसो पीएचडी को नर्मल प्रोसेसिंग तब को 
तीन महीना देखि छ महीना लग्स सुपरभाइजर ओ तब सुपरभाइजर पत्ता लाइन पर्यटन है तब खोज फील्ड में चाहे रिसर्च भैर कि पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी में पत्ता लाने पर्यटन सो पे तब प्रपोजल पठान पर्यटन प्रपोजल एक्सेप्ट हो सो इट गोन टेक्स एटलिस्ट भी छ महीना हाई पीएचडी को एप्लीकेशन छ महीना भाग चाँडो कर सक अनलेस कुछ कुछ फील्ड हु जिसमें हमें सजिलो कि जो तब को बिजनेस को प्रोग्राम से डीबीए बने है डॉक्टर अफ बिजनेस एडमिस्ट्रेशन तो हम तब तीन महीना में डिशन दिन सकता कि है तो अब कोर्स वर्क हो यूनिवर्सिटी डकुमेंट पठाए डकुमेंट एसेसमेंट कर तब को स्पेशलाइज पीएचडी को तब सिक्स मंथ्स को टाइम दिए तब रिसर्च प्रपोजल म इसमें रिसर्च कर दून भाई इस वी कैन प्रोसेस तर टेक्स टाइम पीएचडी को छ महीना जी में छ महीना जी में डिशन आब तब होना तो अब तब हे फी मन पर्व कि मन पर्देन तब स्कलरशिप में पाँच कि पीएचडी है सो हमें तो सब अप्सन खोजन पर्चिप नहीं चाहिए क्या पीएचडी को फीस भी बड़ी लिंशन रे भाई पीएचडी को मसर्स को फी तो अलमोस्ट एवट यूनिवर्सिटी में यूके को यूनिवर्सिटी में है बट यदि तब को राो पर्सेंटेज छकरशिप में एप्लाई कर तर यह वर्ष को स्कलरशिप एप्लाई करने टाइम से अलमोस्ट इन भैस क्या हर एक यूनिवर्सिटी को स्कलरशिप एप्लाई करने जूनसम होना सो अप्सेंस हे रीएचडी यूके में मत हे कि अरुण देश में हेद फरेन कंट्री में जुन में सेल्फ डिपेन्ड में पार्न सकने जर्मन में हेन है हम जर्मन प्रोसेस कर जर्मन में हेन नर्वे में हेन जो देश पीएचडी फ्री में कर फ्री में कर डिफ्रेंट हो तब पीएचडी कर जाना ती देश में है यूके में मैक्सिम यूनिवर्सिटी ट्यूशन फी ली कि अब तस्त फ्री कंट्री जो तस्त मई कर रिसर्च नहीं तो तब रिसर्च कर पर्टिकुलर देश को यूनिवर्सिटी है जो मैं तब नर्वे नर्वे में तब फील्ड में करने यूनिवर्सिटी कतिवटा हेन पर्यटन है तब खोजे टपिक में रिसर्च क्या क्या कराया हेन पर्यटन क्योंकि तब को पीएचडी भाई रिसर्च बेस्ड भाई तब रिसर्च है हम टीम ने रिसर्च कर एप्लीकेशन कर तब को बेस्ट के होनी सके सब यूरोपियन या अमेरिकन इंग्लिश कंट्री में जहाँ स्कलरशिप में दिखा ती देश में एप्लाई कर जो फिनलैंड में आपको पीएचडी गई सके तब सेटलमेंट को सुविधा है सर्टिन क्राइटेरिया मिट कर सके वाई नट एप्लाई दिए है हेन अब ती देश में बीजले करें हाई फिर हमें प्रोसेस करतेन है बट वी गट द इन्फर्मेशन सेंग तो देश राम ए हो सर सलाह को लगी धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद तर नेपाल करने शिक्षा लिया फर्किने भाई मेरे सोच हो तो तब बेस्ट स्कलरशिप में एप्लाई कर बरू तब को मसर्स कहीं सकू तार उन्नीस में हो सर उन्नीस में गैप भी छेन है एक वर्ष भो है सो प्लिज तब अज आप रिसर्च कर मैं तब सजेस्ट कर पीएचडी फ्रीम ट्राई कर भाई पैला मिला इन्फर्मेटिव जो पार्टनर जब पाने संभावना कति को फुल टाइम सो जब को जब से ग्यारेटी होते हैं यूके में कस को जब ग्यारेटी होते हैं हाई जब बने स्किल भाई है जबसम हमीसंग क्षमता छेन जब होते हैं हाई पार्टनर को जब हाई अब एक्जापल दी अब एक्टा एक्जापल हम पर्चे इंजीनियर आने भाथ कि है सफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर है हिज वर्किंग इन लाइक यू नो कंप्यूटर एनालिस्ट सफ्टवेयर इन एनालिस्ट इन वन कंपनी इन मैंसेस्टर है अब तो क्या वहाँसंग स्किल थी तो है तर मसंग यहाँ नर्स आज सी इज वर्किंग एज अ सीनियर केयर है 
इंजीनियर ले आपने इंजीनियरिंग लाइक से क्वालिफाई यहाँ गवर्नर लाइक से रजिस्ट्रेशन गवर्नर पढ़ दाई ना आई ना इफ ही कैन प्रूव थ्रू लाइक एग्जाम और वो थिंग लाइक गवर्नर के लिए से कंपनी ने लीना सक्सा तारा प्रोफेशन लाइक डॉक्टर नर्स फिजियोथेरापी और जने ये मेडिकल ट्रॉम हर का जो आऊंगा � it's not that open, you know, the UK one ago. It's not because it's Rasta, or yes, I Europe has a very Rasta come and you're out of come on. Romania, Portugal, Poland, Tobacco, Bulgaria, I know in European sub this car man, you are a camera in town where you can want to go. So team man, you go is kill one ago. No, 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 no. है ना जस्तो अब आमिर ला मानो कि नेपाली विद्या थी ले केएफसी में काम कर चुका नहीं होनी केएफसी खुले को नेपाल में दो ही वर्षा बाये मानो तीन वर्षा बायो तो रो रोमानिया रा बुल्गेरी में आज उन्हें पंद्रह वर्षा बैठने केएफसी खुली से गया था है ना तो यहाँ को कॉल्चर संग उन्हें ऑब्वियस � चार दिन में काम पाको बाई पनी चो र चार महीने में काम ना पाको बाई पनी चो अब मैं कौशल एग्जाम्पल दियो है ना अब मैं लो मैं लो ऑफिस में बने मलाय सोडेन ये वाला युक्त रहा है मलाय जनवरी में आओ नहीं बाई मो रेंट दिनों साल दिनों बनी बाई पनी चो नहीं है है ना जनवरी में आ रहा दाई मैं ले पंद्रह है ना रतो भाई यह क्यों ना उन्होंने बात समझे रत प्लांट्स हो बनी जाए यस दिस कंट्री इज़ फॉर यू तो रत प्लांट्स है ना रम ऐसे के जॉब कर रहा हूँ बात समझे दिस इज़ नॉट फॉर यू है आंटी बोला डिपेंडेंट लाइज़ है इस अपॉर्चुनिटी कि ना यू के लिए बन ऐसे के जो मास्टर्स पढ़े जो ब अब तो 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 तब वाले बुजुर्ग बोलते हैं सात्यों से माले मैं मैं तो इतनी देर जान कर सही ना आई अब माले बने अब माले तब वाले मैं एक्सप्लेन कर देते हैं यू के लिए कीना मास्टर्स लेवल पे स्टूडेंट लाइसेंस डिपेंडेंट लेवल में बने को कीना तो पहला तो यहाँ पहला तो डिप्लोमा पढ़ने ले � दूसरों को उन्हर को तो डिपेंडेंट पढ़ने काम करने या पढ़ने वाला बनी उसको विज़ा एक्सचेंज में देरे में गोल मिल लियो है ना तो ती एकदम ही फ्रेश पॉइंट था है ना ती बच्चा ले जाए के प्रोग्रेस करना सकते ना तेरे वजह से उन्होंने मैच्योर स्टूडेंट ने मतलब बनाया संगे तो अब मैं यो डिपेंडेंट लेवन so, I want to say, mature porn is a skillful one. This is the best country. I want to say, I want to say, dependent opportunity. Why do I want to say, 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 के के रे केर की बार को ट्रेनिंग बनना लाये वन में तबे को हॉस्पिटल रे को ट्रेनिंग बनना लाये ऐना कोई विद्यार्थी हरो ये दिक कुक उन्होंने सब ने मौत से स्पेशलाइज्ड कुक बनाऊंगा ऐ या कुक जति नहीं बैंड जाके तो स्पेशलाइजेशन किस तबे को तिले मैटर कर सके ऐ तो चीज़ ऐसी क्या रहा होगा सब ते यो � uh, it's all depends on the individual. Exactly. You can share with us. Uh, otherwise, I mean, as a session is and um, awesome. If you have any queries, please do feel free to write in your questions or talk to us directly. Um, I think as a, as a, okay, so I mean, like, say, where it's our side, it's my Facebook, ma. I, yeah, sir. Then, the uh, uh, then the uh, do we get this scholarship 
इवन इफ यू अप्लाई टू यूडब्ल्यूएल वनेरा सोच नहीं आ गया था क्या बोलते हैं बेस आम्र तो स्कॉलरशिप था नहीं बेस स्कॉलरशिप यस यू कैन एनी एनी एनीवन कैन अप्लाई दैट वन है ना फर्स्ट यू नीड टू हैव ऑफर लेटर फ्रॉम द पर्टिकुलर कुनी बन यूनिवर्सिटी बैठा एंड देन यू आर एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई फॉर द बेस स्कॉलरशिप है ना अब प्रियंका छेत्री जी ने क्या लिखा है सब प्रोवाइडिंग द पोस्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन कोर्स एंड फी टू है अब पोस्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन नर्सिंग कोर्स के बारे में बोलने जाए नर्सिंग दो ही तरीका कौन सा है आज नर्सिंग को कुछ ऐसे अलग ही क्लेरली मांग रहे हैं जैसे अमर तो ऑपरेशन आओ दे सा है ना हर एक कोर्स को पर्टिकुलर कोर्स को तार आज हम नर्सिंग को प्री रजिस्ट्रेशन और पोस्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन को कुछ ऐसे कर दें जाए प्री रजिस्ट्रेशन कोर्स माने को त्यों कोर्स पढ़ी सकने बित्ती के तब जैसे यूके में रजिस्टर नर्स होने में चाहिए है अब पहला बात है ये ट्रेडिशनली यूनिवर्सिटी को रिक्वायरमेंट आईएलटीएस सेवेन नॉट लेस देन सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव थियो है ना सो अलग हम इसमें इस तरह यूनिवर्सिटी सा जो जैसे टेक कोर्स तब अलग आईएलटीएस सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव नॉट लेस देन सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव आईएलटीएस सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव नॉट लेस देन सिक्स लेकिन लीन सो ह रा अब तब भी सेवेंटी परसेंट में दमाती बको होने पर ही रा इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस आ रहा हूँ उनसा तो रिक्वायर्ड आईएलटीएस पास कर सकेंगे तब भी कोर्स चार वर्षों पढ़ने वाले या तीन वर्षों पढ़ने वाले तब भी रजिस्ट्रेशन बन रहा हूँ उनसा ये ना प्री रजिस्ट्रेशन ओके अन्य और कुछ अब मास्टर्स ऑफ नर्सिंग तो जैसे कि जैसे कुने ही पनी हेल्थ कोर्स पढ़े को विद्यार्थी है सब पब्लिक हेल्थ या कुने ही पनी हेल्थ पढ़े को विद्यार्थी तो विद्यार्थी रहते हैं मास्टर ऑफ नर्सिंग पढ़ना पाऊँ सा आईएलटी 6.5 नॉलेज था 6.5 है तो विद्यार्थी जैसे डायरेक्ट प्री रजिस्ट्रेशन पढ़ना पाऊँ सा और कंप्लीशन बॉयसर्विसी नेपाल में जैसे कोई नर्स लमानु तब बोले पीसीएल नर्सिंग करना बायो या बैचेस ऑफ नर्सिंग करना बायो आई पीसीएल नर्सिंग पास करना बायो नेपाल को रजिस्टर नर्स होना बायो तो चार वर्ष काम करना बायो अब बैचेस ऑफ नर्सिंग पढ़ना जाना चाहिए जैसे नेपाल लेके मंदा तीन वर्ष पढ़ना पड़ता है आईडीएस साथ नॉट डेट वन 6.5 ले आ रहा सीबीटी रो अस्की पास कर रहे नहीं ये दी यूके गवर्नमेंट ले वाला नॉस बंद हो बनी आम लेते हैं वहाँ आपको एक्सपीरियंस को आधार ले जजमेंट कर रहे कि ना फाइनल ईयर ऑफ बैचलर्स डिग्री में नॉली नहीं बना रहे वाले ओके सो त्यों जाए पोस्ट रजिस्ट्रे� तब पहले आयल सात और सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव ले उन बरसा बट यू गोना हैव अ डिग्री कॉल्ड बैचलर्स ऑफ नर्सिंग पोस्ट ना टॉप ऑफ नर्स फाइनल ईयर को नर्सिंग में जाए अब तीस तय है मिसोंगा मास्टर्स ऑफ नर्सिंग सब तीन पोस्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन सिमिलर हो प्रोसेस सब पे सिमिलर हो कोर्स तब पहले मास्टर्स ऑफ नर्सिंग रो इसको लाइक इस हो आईएलटीएस साइंस एक ही साइंस है ना मतलब पोस्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन को लाइक साइंस सम यूनिवर्सिटी वी डोंट रिक्वायर यू डोंट रिक्वायर आईएस आई अब वो कोई आई मीन समझ चार डाय यूनिवर्सिटी सा चार डाय यूनिवर्सिटी में दूसरी डाय यूनिवर्सिटी लाइक आईएस कंपलसरी साइंस हो दूसरी डाय यूनि� वहाँ लेज के बाद उनसे यूनिवर्स एवरा यूनिवर्सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी को टेस्ट लेने उनसा ओके सो देल कंडक्ट यूनिवर्सिटी टेस्ट है ऑनलाइन में उनसा तो टेस्ट पास करने वाले बनी यू आर एलिजिबल टू इंटर ऑन द पर्टिकुलर कोर्स ये और कोई यूनिवर्सिटी को तो हमले एसेसमेंट करनी अधिकार हमले तो रो नर्सिंग कोर्स को लाइक इसे प्लीज अप्लाई एसएप आई कि नॉन डे नर्सिंग को कोटा में ले बार बार बनाया चुके एकदम लिमिटेड सा लास्ट टाइम में ले पंद्रह बनाया थी अब ऑयल जैसे तब भी आएगा पच्चीस शॉर्ट एप्लीकेशन बोल सके अब ओनली लाइक फाइव और सिक्स सिक्स लेफ्ट फॉर नर्सिंग प्रोग्राम डू वी और क्या ही सब और और कुछ ऐसा ही सब है जहाँ हमारे टीम संग को कुछ आगरनो सही ना नेपाल टीम संग है ना वहाँ लेवल तब लाए गाइड करनो सा इफ यू आर उन्हें तब लाए सही 
Nepal team song uh, communication uh, gap boy, okay, well, you can directly contact our UK team as well. Right? So UK team and Nepal team like contact the well, please the well, office time our motor phone was in Wala. Oil I mean come to Gorilla so I uh, got the cost of the time Hana with the Nepal would phone hours, I mean that's Sutira Gonzo. Okay. So we got the banner is okay, Gonzo, but I mean saying early morning. So I know we're not like Molly and the Bell Gordon of one again, but I even appropriate time here, the Nola phone gonna lie. So I know I'm really thankful, Eastern or Lake Gordon of Asamani, not only Nepal team, Kalka Nepal team off boys, which I'm the phone gonna wear as I know it's good. I know carry on Jay Gordon Vasa. So our time is already here. Dinu, I Nepal team life only. So we know what is the key. Five hours, some more. Yeah, six hours, some more. Phone call. Dinu, boy, bunny. Who are going? Bunny, our family life. So I know. Earlier, we are going counseling. One, go. One, two, two counseling. One, that we go. Thirty minutes, point this minute. Dance. So I know. So this life is already more than another girl. Dinu, and also, what is the key? 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 Please appointment Linus. I mean, so many counselors are there. So, that's why I'm doing. I mean, eight hours counseling is not possible. So, please uh, appointment later. Go on. So, and we are ready to help you. Any any process ma. Abo money na. This course you go like. Please apply ASAP. Because only this course is very important. So, ah, two things are there. No, so, na. Other things are there. No, one thing is there. I'm going to go there. Ah, or Devji le question pathon baat hai. Maal se buze for what likhna baat hai. Tu questions aali buze na maile. Ah Devji ke panna khosne baako. Tu chahi ah if you can unmute your mic, you can ask us. Ite hi. Nanta pahle for what maal se likhna baat hai. Maal se tu chahi buze na ke ko baare sohna baako. Tu maal se tu PhD kar na lai hai na. Yadi aile ne tad kalai bheti na bani. Master baat a phiri. शुरू करें रा अन्य पीएचडी सम्मा गार्डा हिरी कस्ट हो लार त्यान संभावित आकर्षित कुछ है वरना कुछ अब मास्टर स्कूल आए तो संभावना सब मास्टर स्कूल आए तो तबे आम सब नोन सा है ना अब तो मास्टर स्कूल आए पिन तबे ले आपने रिसर्च तो गानू पढ़े जैसा तबे को ले तबे इस उनका तबे नैनोटेक कैमरा आह एग्रोनोमी अथवा आह बायोलॉजी सोयल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बायोलॉजी तेज होता है आई अब दोस्तों तबे ले यहाँ से अब दोस्तों तबे स्पेशलाइज्ड गरीब सकुन सोयल में स्पेशलाइज्ड गरीब सकुन बात सब नहीं आई ना नॉर्मल के पढ़ना होना मिल सा आई ना सो अन्य ते आ को एक बार सब बोलते हैं तबे ले आपनों तो हैं फाइंड आउट करने पर सारे इस कोर्स को लगी थे तो इस कोर्स को लाइक यूके जन ती देरे हैपीनिंग सही ना एकदम कम मात्रा होन्स है ना हाँ तो अब आउनों से मास्टर्स में आउनों तो मिल सकते हैं नो प्रॉब्लम तो इन्हें मास्टर्स अंतिह मास्टर्स में ज्वाइन करी सके बसे और कंट्री में फिर एडी पीएचडी को लगी ए स्कॉलरशिप पाई हो बनने त्यागना ट्रांसफर करना तो स्पंज जैसा मिल जाता है तो फीस है तब तो रिफंड होता है ना है ना आह तब तब यहाँ पर जाना मिल सके यहाँ पर तब विश्व को जुने भी देश जाना मिल सके और यहाँ पर कुने भी विश्व को जुने पे देश जाना लाये समय ना बचनो बाय बनी चाहे तब ले वीजा यहीं पर अप्लाई करना मिल सके हम्म � सीधे सर आइले लाई है ना खास एक छोई ना सर फेसबुक में अपनी नॉन न्यू क्वेश्चंस आफ्टर प्रियंका थैंक यू एवरीवन है अब आमले फेसबुक में जो दे रहे हैं मैसेज गरीब वन बात सही है अब आमले थैंक यू फॉर द मैसेज एस वेल है फेसबुक में दे रहे हैं पर्सनल मैसेज आए रहा सा तो आमले रिप्लाई करना था आमले को दी गारो भेजा सा कि ना मन्दा कि तो वे को नंबर ऑफ मैसेज एकदम ही दे रहे हो अन्य कोई जो ताली स्पेसिफिक बात से नहीं स्पेसिफिक साइड ना है ना अ प्लीज तो पहले जाइए अ फेसबुक में क्वेश्चन लिखता है जाइए प्लीज क्या कोर्स पढ़ना जाने तो अ मेरो एक पोस्टिंग डिस्क के साथ तबे को तो जाइए क्लियर लिख दिन वाला है तो आम रो स्टाफ इसे तबे आंसर दिन वाला है सोची लोग � अने प्लीज इफ यू गाइस नीड एनी हेल्प प्लीज लेट अस नो आई अने ऑफ फेसबुक पे निको ईमेल पे नहीं आम्रा एकदम ही दे रहे आपको साइड अब ईमेल को डॉक्यूमेंट्स आम्रा एसेसमेंट गोई रहा चुं कुने पे नहीं एप्लीकेशन को टर्न अराउंड वाने को एटलिस्ट पे दबाई आम्रा चार दिन को समय दिन वर्षा मिन साइड यो बड़े रो अबो एक अप्ता उनसा नेक्स्ट वीक समामा कि मैं ऐसा ना अम्म एसेसमेंट गौर देशों फाइल हो रहू आई सो 
कसई को अफर लेटर नया को तब को छ दिन सात दिन भाषा इस नर्मल टाइम हई तो एकदम फास्ट टर्न अराउंड हो समझ हाई क्या हमें जो फेज में काम कर एकदम नर्मल हो तो तब को छ दिन सात दिन नर्मल लगता है कुछ कुछ तब दुई दिन नेक्स्ट डे नहीं आगे होना सकता है जो कुछ हम हाथ में हमें नेक्स्ट डे अफर इश्यू कर सकता जो कुछ हम हाथ में इसको अलग टाइम लगता है हाई क्योंकि कतिपय तब को डिपर्टमेंट में जानू फैकल्टी में जानू फैकल्टी पर डिशीजन लगा दि पर्व सो इट टेक्स टाइम हाई अरु के अब आई थिंक अब अरु के नया को नया आसाई है हम ग्रुप में जोइन भारतीय भाई अदरवाइज हम कहले सर सर अर्क हम हम अर्क सेशन अब सिक्सटीन जून में सो ते बेला कई क्वेरिज स्वांसी यूनिवर्सिटी संग हो सो ते बेला जोइन भर अो बिर्स कि एडिशनल के क्वेश्चन्स आए वी कैन अलवेज यू कैन अलवेज कम यर एंड आस्क अस क्वेश्चन्स डिरेक्टली आई होप इट वॉज एन इन्फर्मेटिव सेशन टू अल अफ यू जोइनिंग अस यर इन जूम एंड ऑल्सो इन फेसबुक those who have left your numbers we will try to uh, we will get in touch with you all so having said that thank you so much once again so i mean achi feri uh, we'll meet soon again so thank you so much thank you